Hey, how's it going? So it's Keith here. Um, didn't really get it together to like do a proper video, so I thought I'd just do a, a kind of a what I ate thing. Um, and again, just to let you know, I'm 52 years old. I've been raw vegan all my adult life, with the exception of two years, or a year and a half actually, that I was sort of steered away by a hero, Truth Calkins, who was an amazing person in my life, but uh, definitely not into the vegan thing. So, gonna kind of step through this. This is the dressing I'm making for a raw, live vegan salad. Um, and in here is a five inch piece of aloe vera. Wrote it down because I'm writing a book. Uh, so, five inch piece of aloe vera, three lemons juiced, one lime juiced, four bird's eye chilies, which are the Thai peppers. Um, maybe a little hot for you, only go with one or don't even use a Thai chili. Use a jalapeno, those really don't do anything for me. Uh, one teaspoon of mustard powder, one teaspoon of kelp, one teaspoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of soleil salt, a big scoop of coconut uh, oil, a tablespoon of diatomaceous earth, uh, one cup of soaked and sprouted sunflower seeds, and uh, I just put rejuvelac in here for the uh, for the water to make it turn over. So um, over here you can find a link to and, and it's set up to the rejuvelac on my uh, video. That's uh, six probiotics that you can make at home. I always use that. It's an excellent cheap probiotic. So. Uh, I probably just realized that a lot of you haven't seen a lot of my new tattoos and I'm really taking my health to a next level and uh, just because I am who I am uh, when I really start feeling good about myself and I really start taking myself to a next level and really stepping outside of society I really want to start doing body modification a lot so I've probably done like about eight hours of tattooing uh, 12 hours of tattooing in the last year and a half, so you can pretty much see all of them there. There's the cover of my newest CD. That one right there is the latest one. Not done yet. So uh, here's the dressing. Uh, whizzed up. It's awesome. I tasted it. And always be aware that you're dressing uh, a little bit to the flavorful side, because don't forget that you're pouring it on stuff, which is going to dilute that. So. For some people, it's probably a little sour, it's a little hot, um, but I really am into that sour combination with saltiness, with a hot spiciness, um, and then um, the creamy from the sunflower seeds and from the coconut. And then also going in the salad that we're headed towards is this. So this is just a big jar of ferment that I got. And you could get these big jars if you go and you buy kimchi at an Asian restaurant. It's really hard to come by these gallon sized jars, which are really cool. So, but just watch out for the ones that got MSG and fish sauce in them. So, um, anyways, it's just a, a whole load of vegetables. And you just chop them up and you put a brine in there of where you, whatever you chopped up, you, you, you throw that into the the, the bullet or the Vitamix and um, and then you put a little salt in there you don't have to do the salt but it's gonna make it mineral not rich but it's gonna put minerals in there yeah and um, so this is like I don't remember everything I did in there it looks like a bunch of cut up uh, um, kale a bunch of cut up like baby broccoli carrots zucchini um, definitely turmeric making the orange stuff in there so that's going in the salad and I'm um, gonna head out in the backyard pick some uh, um, miner's lettuce and a few other things and gonna assemble this guy there we go I went into the backyard got a big old kind of plate of, of the miner's lettuce and you can always tell them by the the lily pad leaves that they got there. I mean, wild food's the best food. All this domesticated stuff, it's really 
short of minerals and just life force and plant alkaloids. It's just all that stuff's like hybridized. I'm not somebody that's totally into the whole vegan paleo thing, which is in my mind is just about eating wild food. Some hybridized food is good. Some hybridized food is probably great. So, but you just want to eat wild stuff whenever you can. Uh, and these are really, really big ones. And it's kind of hanging on back there in a few of the, like, shady spots. So, they do like the shade. And when they get in the sun, they, they kind of start drying back and getting ready for some of the other plants that are going to come in. And so, hey, the other wild ingredient is going to be... Um... Purslane, of course, which is uh, probably the only land plant that's got completely well-rounded uh, fats, because otherwise you got to combine stuff, and there it is. Um, so it, it actually grows up here in the mountains, and it does grow in some places, and I've tried to transplant it into my yard, but the squirrels always seem to get after it, and... Uh, Actually, I think it was a gopher that got it. So I'm going to cut this up and add it in there. One, whole And just sticking in there kind of what I got left of the buckwheat sprouts. I forgot to... Well, I actually been making a lot of dehydrated stuff. So that's kind of what's left. Just using the rest of that. That's going in the south. So there it is so far. We've got the miner's lettuce, the purslane, the buckwheat on top. I'm going to put this in there. Big old jar of fresh alfalfa sprouts that's just going to go right on top the dressing definitely putting some of this in there the Nopalis cactus it's got to just go in there and kind of slice off all those stickers good stuff um, can't find anything online but I'm pretty sure that this totally helps with connective tissue along with some other stuff that's like that like the aloe vera so also going in the salad bowl is uh, I've really been getting back into the dehydrator some herbs caught right there uh, recipe for this is right there. Um, this is not exactly what I did, but um, it's basically these sort of meaty pakora falafel type things going in there. I really love dehydrated food. I'm really into the old school raw. A lot of people, I just like it. And there's a way, I'm not going to make an excuse for eating dehydrated food. I think it's, it's really awesome actually. So there it is there. Uh, the orange stuff, the, the ferment that I showed you in the jar, really beautiful, just completely awesome. And uh, there's the little yummy dehydrated nugget. And I'm just going to have a little, little talk here, just a little bit. So, um, I want to quote something from my favorite movie, which is The Matrix, which we live in. So this is a paraphrase, but it's the essence of what I mean. You can take the, re the red pill, and you can see how deep the rabbit hole is. Meaning you can take the red pill, you can find your own truth, you can look and you can see the delusion in our world, which is samsara in Buddhism, which is maya, in Hinduism, or you can take the blue pill and you can wake up in your bed and you can believe whatever you want to believe. So, a lot of stuff out there to do with veganism. I'm all about veganism, but it's just a lot of entry level stuff and a lot of people taking advice from people that are 25, 26, 27 years old, which even if they're eating a crap diet, um, they should basically already look good. So, I'm not trying to hoot my own horn or anything, but I am 52 years old and I've been doing this lifestyle for a while now. So hey, we're just going to clean up the place a little bit here with the, the smudging. And speaking of cleaning up the place, the reason I'm doing this uh, in front of the computer like that is because my kitchen's a fucking mess. And so there's this occult axiom of like, uh, as above, so below as within is without and so I kind of mostly got it together on the inside um, but my outside world is kind of a big mess and I used to make the excuse of uh, being right brain and I truly am right brain I'm a right brain person like 
you don't know, and anybody of you that have hung on to me and watched some of my rants, uh, uh, where I'm just in a complete right brain mode, just because you are something doesn't mean that you have to be that way. Like, if you come from crappy parents, um, you don't have to, like, use the excuse of, like, oh, that's just the way I am. So with the idea of being, in my case, right brain, it's like I need to be a little more left brain, and I need to, like, evolve beyond what I am. So, so mess on the outside, mess on the inside. So it's not a complete disaster area, but I don't feel like I'll totally get it together on the inside until I learn to be a lot more tidy and get into all that feng shui and everything. So anyways, we're going to offer up a little bit of a prayer here. I'm not going to, you know, I give thanks to the Creator. I give thanks to all the people. I give thanks to Archangel Raziel, who is really changing a lot inside of me right now. Um, I give thanks to my parents. I give thanks for the body that I have. I get thank give thanks for the consciousness I have. Because, Lord God, some people are just like, they're just, they just need to realize that everything's not what they think they are. And so some of us have a head start because we're like an old soul or whatever, as I am. And so a, a very basic Buddhist principle that I give uh, in my prayer and my offering thanks is, I learned this from somebody that I was really close to for a while, of this Buddhist thing of like, you see everything as your mother. Everything. The roads, your house, your parents, your friends, animals, everything around you is your mother or this thing that has given birth to you as you are, and you give thanks for all of those things. So, um, I'm going to eat this up here. So whenever I pray and talk to the spirits, and talk to the ethers, the part of what we really are, because I've said this before, this life is two steps in the marathon, it's the soul life. And for further education, um, we chose to be here. So whatever your situation is, whatever is going on, realize that you put yourself into this situation no matter who you are. The situation meaning the life that you're living for you to learn to come on to this dimension that is a place of forgiveness a place of learning compassion and just as the world gets like everything's happening right now the world's a better place and it's a more crazy place so when I offer my thanks talk to the spirits I always end it with this lovely thing that I learned from a Catholic prayer and uh, that being said, I am like a big part of my root is that I am like a hermetic Christian, which is kind of basically the sort of world of the Golden Dawn, Aleister Crowley, all of those kind of people. They were Christian. Um, so anyways, I say with thanks and full faith, meaning that I love what I have and I have complete faith in the universe and God and all the spirits that are around me. So also, I didn't show off this. I've been working with the dehydrator. Got this lovely crisp here that I did with sprouted sunflower seeds. Absolutely, like, fabulous. Kind of did it with a flax base. Put that in the fridge and let the flax kind of do its thing. And then just took all these sprouted sunflower seeds on there. And just put them in and dehydrated them. And then this was another experiment with some Irish moss. A bunch of kale. Um, I think flax buckwheat, and it's kind of a, a nice one. I kind of, it's got a little soft kind of texture to it. A little bit of the sauce. Love. Love all the stuff that you can do with a dehydrator. And I'll say it now, I'm coming up with it pretty soon here. And some of the people that copy me like okay raw um, realize that the intelligence comes from not like the people that are the most popular but I did a job of hammering on okay raw of him talking about stuff having too much spices anybody should know that uh, uh, spices are loaded 
with like nutrition and like all kinds of plant alkaloids and all kinds of things that we don't even know about. And that's why they're spices. That's why they have these strong flavors is because they have all of this extra stuff in there that is so far beyond food. So that being said, I'm messing around with this. This is why I'm talking about it. And the, the, the sort of copiers can go ahead and copy me if they happen to watch this episode. But I'm basically making what I'm going to call limbic bread. I believe that's the way you say it out of Lord of the Rings. Um, of course, it's going to be my own modern version of it. So, um, uh, support me by supporting my music. Um, links all like where? Over in here to my uh, website, to my band camp, and uh, links over in here to playlists and stuff like that. I um, haven't been doing that for a while, that sort of tied reading. Uh, love you all. I enjoy being on YouTube, and I'm just really working on finding this true and clear path. I'm really into angels. I've been working with different angel every um, moon cycle. Went through the basic four archangels and kind of stumbled on to Archangel Razio, who has been like, oh, amazing stuff. I'm actually hanging on with Rock, uh, Archangel Razio for a little while. Anyways, enough of me chatting. I will see you later. And I could probably just go ahead and eat a little bit of this since I made it in front of the camera. Fully, fully awesome, old school raw. Got dehydrated food in there. We got fermented food in there. We got two kinds of wild food. Um, we got nopalis, cactus, all kinds of stuff. Um, I think I should run through the dressing one more time because I think I forgot something. The diatomaceous earth. So the dressings are like bomb your salads with the dressings because you're going to make them like totally awesome next level that's where you can introduce so much stuff so anyways the dressing was aloe vera three lemons one lime all juiced four bird's eye chilies one teaspoon of mustard powder one teaspoon of kelp you could put more of that in there if you want uh one tablespoon of diatomaceous earth a big scoop of coconut uh a teaspoon of uh turmeric and you, you could put and hide all kinds of stuff in there. And since it's like sour, you could actually put MSM in there. Uh, MSM has kind of a crazy, weird, bitter taste, although I have been doing mouth shots of it. Um, not so bad when you really get yourself used to it. When your body recognizes that you're going to give it awesome stuff, it changes your emotional programming and the things that you think, that reward system that associate you with eating shit food or that new reward system that supernatural new reward system that changes your constitution and when you start doing mouth shots of MSM it goes oh you're gonna give me that anyway so I'm like Dr. Robert Kesar here continuing with the long out row so this is Keith live rock star saying bright blessings uh, live life to its fullest and don't forget you can take the red pill and you can see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Or you can take the blue pill, and you can wake up in your bed, and you can believe whatever you want to believe. <laughs>